Hey y'all, um, I'm driving the back roads in Solana right now and it's just gorgeous. Um, it's uh, 17th of November in Texas, which is one of those days where you need the heat in the morning and the AC in the afternoon and then probably build a fire at night. Just a gorgeous day, right? It's got me thinking. Um, predominantly that your bug out plan sucks, right? There's a lot of people that um, as soon as something happens, pardon. Aha, I can see now. There's a lot of people that as soon as uh, something happens, their, their first inclination is to grab their rucksack and go. And surely in certain environments certain situations that makes sense right but I don't think that should be your primary uh, course of action here's why today's a great example okay if you were outside right now in a t-shirt you'd be very comfortable winds blowing I think the high for today is about 80 degrees this is North Texas do you know what the low is tonight I think it's 38 degrees, okay? You're going to freeze tonight. You're done. Uh, you know, unless you're going to go uh, hit a cow in the face with a hammer and gut it and crawl inside it to stay warm, all of Star Wars, you're going to be cold. You can't carry everything you need on your back. Uh, I see these people all the time. I'm going to go to the woods, T. I'm just bugging out to the woods man i'm gonna go set up a base camp shoot a deer run some trot lines pulling some uh you know catfish and blah 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 you know i got my crappie jigs okay you and everybody else bro you and everybody else there's like twenty thousand people in this town uh let's just say a tenth of them went to the same patch of wilderness wilderness that doesn't exist around here, but they, they, you all went to the same patch of wilderness. Dude, there's not enough resources, right? It's just not there. That's why I think bugging out, at least in this area of the woods, this neck of the woods, this area of the world, uh, is not the best idea. Now, if you live out, out here, you know, where I'm driving right now, where your nearest neighbor is, you know, is outside a rifle range, or uh, you need a, a 20 MOA rail on your rifle to get enough elevation to dope your shot to hit your next door neighbor's front porch, yeah, then you probably don't need to go anywhere. If you live down in Dallas or Plano or uh, parts of McKinney or Irving, Las Colinas, wherever, you're probably gonna wanna go, get out and go, have you a bug out location. But if you're in the burbs, I'm in the burbs, right? If you live in the burbs, maybe you ought to just stay put. I think if you can get through the first 30 days, uh, you're going to be in a pretty good situation. Better at least than you would be if you tried to spend 30 days outside with your wife and your kids and whatever water you can find and whatever food you can find and whatever shelter you can cobble together and uh, yada, 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 right? You can't, I mean, I have so much crap at my house it would make life easier in a, in a grid down situation or an emergency situation, whatever. I mean, I got firewood. I've got, you know, food in the pantry. I've got water and some 55-gallon drums. I've got food and ammunition, first aid, medicine, just over-the-counter medicine. Aspirin can save your life, right? If you've got a deadly fever, aspirin can help, aspirin can help break that. So um, just all these things that you're not going to be able to strap on your back and go hoof it out into the woods with. I think a lot of that is a fairy tale mentality of people, the, the kind of the lone survivor, you know, I'm a loner, man, I'm gonna go it alone. When, uh, when the world ends, I'm just, just, just gonna get out there in the middle of the wilderness, man, and, and just be by myself. 
you are going to be by yourself right until your heart stops and you die of exposure or from a snake bite or from you know dehydration or starvation or well, you know pick your Asian you're going to die right people were meant to live in tribes live in groups and there's certainly uh, a threat posed by a population density you know too many people in your area can be a problem and I've talked to that before and I'll talk to that again but having a team people around you that you can divide your labor with uh, highly recommended and uh, I would just really think long and hard before you made your rucksack your first line of defense the bugging out protocol right I think that should be one of the last things that you do not one of the first things that you do now your situation is going to be different from mine and every situation is dynamic right there will come a point where uh you gotta go i gotta go man it's bad t i gotta go well, grab your rucksack and go that's what it's there for but man don't burn that powder until you have to don't go there until you need to go there you know keep that option in reserve um <laughs> now, if your neighborhood just turns to crap overnight, yeah, you got to go, right? Um, Texans, I think, will probably hold it together better than, say, you know, uh, those in Chicago or Detroit or L.A. or New York City or wherever. If you look at the uh, hurricane response in Houston versus, say, the hurricane response in um, Louisiana, or Florida, Texans uh, tend to, to keep it together. So, I would be thinking long and hard about uh, grabbing your rucksack and going. You might want to stick around until you have to go. Just some thoughts.